Hey! This video is all about why increasing temperature increases the rate of reaction and explaining what's going on with those particles using collision theory. Let's do a brief overview of collision theory and what it means. If the rate of reaction is increasing, then remember there's only two explanations. Either we're increasing the frequency of collisions, or we're increasing the number of particles that have greater than the activation energy. Those are the only two options. Let's start by drawing a model of what's going on with those particles. So you can see in my low temperature version, uh, I'm drawing the same number of particles as I will in my high temperature one, but I'm going to show them moving at a slower speed just by these lines behind each individual particle. So at higher temperatures, particles have higher kinetic energy. They're moving faster. If we think about how increasing that speed and energy of the particles is going to impact collision theory, we can see how the rate of reaction would increase. If the particles are going faster, then what you're going to do is you're going to increase the frequency that they're hitting each other at. They're going to hit each other more often you're also going to increase the energy that those particles have. So temperature really does impact the rate of reaction massively because it's the only one that's really a double-pronged effect. It affects both the frequency of collisions and the energy of the particles. A lot of my students really struggle to understand what we mean by activation energy. So if we took a sample of particles, they all have various energies. In any given sample, you have particles that have low energies and particles that have high energies, which you can see in my diagram here. Now, activation energy is kind of like a threshold. If the particles have more energy than the activation energy, then that means that if they hit each other, if they collide, then you'll get a successful reaction. So when I increase the temperature, what I'm doing is I'm moving the average energy of those particles to a higher energy. So you can see I'm going to shift all of the particles upwards. What this means is that now more particles have a higher energy than the activation energy. So overall, this means that you would have more particles engaging in successful reactions when they did collide with each other.